love having a partner in crime in the kitchen with me. And I love being your partner in crime. Scotty McRae, the travelling foodie guy. That's me, no, I that's, am. That's well, not it, is it? No, it was the travelling guy, but it's, you know, <laughs> we're doing food today. Now, Scotty, you've been over to New Zealand. I have, and we did a bit of a, a tour around the country, checking out their, um, their places they go to and the foods they eat, and one of them was what we're going to cook today, I because know. green lip mussels New Zealand, that's can it. You can only get them you in New Zealand. Them there. Well, as far as I know, that's yeah. the only place you can get them. So we, we've got these in today, Scotty. Yep. Do you wonder why, I don't, wonder why they called them green lip mussels? I, I got no idea. I don't know. Clever people, yeah, those no. New Zealanders. <laughs> <laughs> There's just, a, that's friendly banter. <laughs> there hey, you go. Right there. There you go. So Scotty, we're going to do a really simple recipe with them today. Yep. We've seen a million times tomato and chilli mussels yeah, and mussels in cream. White wine do something a little bit yep. different. Great. Because I like to mix things up a bit. Excellent. I had a very similar dish to this when I was travelling in Spain actually. So we're going to do some pickled mussels oh. all the way from New Zealand, done here in Melbourne. That's interesting. This is international. With the New Zealand this mussels. This is international food it right is. here. So we're going to get a pan on, get that nice and hot. Mm -hmm. So Scotty, Normally with mussels, when you get them in, you need to scrub them and clean them before we start cooking them. Yeah. Not with this recipe. And if you want to get some live little black mussels, you can substitute the black mussels yep. that we get here in, in New tasty. South Wales. Chuck them in. I don't want all that liquid that's at the bottom. Yep. These will need two or three minutes in a hot pan. And they'll just open them up themselves, won't they? They'll open up. We just want to steam them open. More. Go on with a little lid. Enough of their own juices will come out to create a little stock down the bottom. They'll open up and then we'll be ready to get on to the next part of the recipe. A bit of the ocean in there as well still. Taste of the ocean. Mm. All right, Scotty. There we go. Oh, yep. A few of them are open. Yeah, started to open. That's all we need. We only want them just cooked. So I've got a little strainer there. And we just need to let these cool. Because we've got to get our fingies in there, right? We're going to, we're going to pick the mussels out. Oranges. Drain off any of that liquid. We're going to let them cool. And when they're cooling, we can get onto our pickling liquid. It's got some vinegar. You thought that straight was, in? You thought that was whiskey. Oh, yeah, no straight idea. in. No <laughs> Sugar. Sugar. Chilli, garlic, peppercorns. That can all go in. We're going to bring this up to the boil. Normally we wouldn't put chives in, but we've got a rogue in the kitchen today that's gone crazy throwing things in the pot. Do you know what? I was I was just still in New Zealand. I was <laughs> I was looking at those big fjord lands and just sorry. That's my fine. bad. It's fine. We've got some more chives on the way to garnish. That's why it's your show and not mine. No, it's all right. It's, it's our recipe now. Yeah, okay. I'll just flip this around. So pop that in. We want to melt the sugar. We want to cook down the garlic a little bit and the chilies and just soften them down. Yep. We're going to pick those mussels while this is kind of just simmering away. It's nice. Put me and you to work with this, and then when we come back, we can pour this pickling liquid over, give them about an hour, and we're ready to roll. More chives, I see. Just chopping up some more chives. Uh, yeah, somebody. Someone got happy throwing them in the recipe earlier, which is fine. Yeah, there's plenty more chives. Plenty more chives in the sea. <laughs> All right, extra chives are done. Look, you can eat them like that yep. if you want. I yep. like them. This is how I had them in Spain on a little uh, little piece of bread, a little uh, kind of pinto, oh, pinchos. Cheese. Yum. Bit of the chili. You good with chili? I'm good with chili. All right. And I'm like the Kiwis, I'm good with seafood. Mm -mm. Oh, some chives. Now the chives go on. Right. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that looks cool. That's it. Get yourself Shall we a cheers it? little glass of New Zealand chilled wine if you of wish. Of course, it would have to be. Cheers. I'm coming okay. with you next time, Scotty, to you New will. Zealand. We'll cook this over there. Pickled mussels. Cheers. Enjoy.